Bros, 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 knows best. This week's about Christmas. And I'm not just gonna talk about what is Christmas. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a backstory so when you're home this week with your family, you can kick a little knowledge and you can look smart and dope as fuck. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> All right, let's kick off the whole Christmas spirit with a little story I like to call the scene of the nativity. And that was the date of which JC was born. And when I say JC, I'm talking about Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who was actually God reincarnated in human form. And to get into that, you should watch some religious stuff or go to church or something like that. This is Bruno's best, not Bruno's all. You humbug. Yeah. So anyways, back to the story. Mary was like, hey, Jojo, Joseph, her husband, uh, I know we haven't had sex yet, but I'm actually really pregnant right now with, uh, I think, God's baby. And he was like, yo, bitch, what the fuck? Who's God? Who's G-O-D? And he got pissed off. And I'm talking vexed. Wouldn't you be vexed if all of a sudden wifey comes home and she's like, uh, I know we haven't had sex yet, but uh, I'm sorry, just Scott, I'm pregnant. Andrew, you are not the father. <laughs> You're gonna be like, okay, I married a hoe. And you're gonna to wanna to do what Joseph's initial reaction was. That was to go out there and try to get a divorce. So he was secretly you know, maneuvering around trying to get a divorce when all of a sudden some angels came down. They're like, hey, yo, Jojo, you can't just go ahead and divorce your wife. This is exactly what you wanna do. You're gonna to wanna to marry her, give birth to that kid and name that kid JC. And by JC, I mean Jesus Christ. And that's exactly what Joseph did. He took her by the hand and married her. And then after about six months, a little baby Jesus came out of that puss. And you know what? Actually, I probably shouldn't say that because I'm gonna offend a lot of people. So I'm gonna back that on up. And I'm gonna say by some type of miracle, Jesus Christ was born in this whole nativity thing. And to get into that, you're gonna have to read the Bible or something because Bruno's Best doesn't have a whole lot of time to explain the whole entire nativity scene to you. This is really becoming an issue for me, for me, for me, for me, for me. In the Old Testament, Jesus Christ's birth date was actually not known. Not just the day wasn't known, the year wasn't known. The scholars just actually didn't have that kind of information. And when I talk about scholars, I'm talking about the people who actually wrote the Bible. And just so you guys know, people actually wrote the Bible. It wasn't God. <laughs> Think about that one. If you saw the number of times I don't follow my orders. Flash forward a few hundred years and a New Testament was written. And in that testament, it started to fill in a few blanks that people were starting to really ask questions about. So they're like, all right, let's just fill in a little bit of this historical information so people could just shut the fuck up. So one of those things that they filled in was JC's date of birth and where he was born. So he was born December 25th in Bethlehem. And therefore, December 25th is Christmas. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. So when you're at the bar and all the girlies are like, what are you doing for Christmas? You could say celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Take her on home, be like, I'm a good boy. And then don't be surprised when she's like, I'm a bad girl. I'm Batman. And then later on that night when she's ho-ho-hoing on that chimney, you could be like, you're welcome because you are Saint Nick and you gave her a present and that present was herpes. All right, all right, all right. All right, that's it for this week's video, my little D-baggers. And I know this wasn't so much of a how-to video as it was a video about Christmas, but you know what? Just got in that ho-ho-ho spirit to give you a little no 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 knowledge. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the page. And don't forget to tune in next week when we talk about how opiates can get you that killer body you've all been dreaming about. And by opiates, I'm talking about heroin. How that happened, I have no idea. It probably reduced crime because, well, if I had to guess, there was no police officers arresting people, so there'd be no real crime statistics in the back and be like, can't wait for this trip to explode because everyone knows your metaphors are tight. All you gotta do is light that fuse and watch it explode. They're gonna